the next one I just wrote like a few days ago. So if I lose my words, bear with me. <laughs> okay. Our world is falling apart and it's becoming amorphous. But the vision I hold for this world's future is simply gorgeous. We're all characters in life's book that can have a happy ending, but we're refusing to sit back and listen to the message that this author is sending. As a generation, we have fallen and failed to get back on our feet, because we're in a constant war with the world's ways and its epidemic lies and deceit. As a society, we have fallen into an abyss of corruption, living life while undergoing a disease known as moral destruction. As a people, we're getting worse by the hour and by the day. But looking back on how things used to be, did you ever think that it'd be this way? Did you think we'd have kids selling and consuming drugs and spending their days and nights on the streets? Did you think that you'd be in a recession and you're struggling to make ends meet? The people of our world fail to realize that wisdom is so much better than silver and gold. So as a result, we're all sitting here in ignorance, wondering what does our future really hold? We're so quick to complain because we forget that you only get out of life what you put in. So my question to you is, what did you expect to receive when half our world is putting forth nothing but sin? The people of our world have become victims of so much wrongdoing that we're tanning in hell's heat. In a constant battle with the devil, but you've gone from confrontation to retreat. I hope these words are making you think. Please don't underestimate this message because that's really not all. There are so many things within this world around us that could cause us to simply fall. The kids of my generation that hold our future should have our elders going insane because half of us know nothing academic related but can recite a whole song by Lil Wayne. We got mothers, fathers, and daughters overseas fighting an endless war. And it's ridiculous because ultimately peace is what we're fighting for. Our world's present condition needs serious recognition. Because we have people that unknowingly have AIDS and the ones they're laying with are multiplying. So every day there's one to four more people that are now slowly dying. I know that fantasy is what we all want, but reality is what our world needs. But you gotta have hope and be able to see the future we can have because the blind can't lead. I know that nowadays it seems that even for happiness there's a price we have to pay. But that one thing you can always do freely is get up on your knees and pray. Because that within itself can make the biggest change.